All right, what is up, guys? My name is Spooky, and I'm back again with another Multi Blood Type Lumina tech video for you guys at home. This one is talking about option selects in particular. I get lots of questions on the stream about option selects. What is an option select? How do I utilize an option select? How do I get the true power out of option selecting in Multi Blood? First off, the definition of an option select for anyone that doesn't know it's a series of inputs that you put into the game that are designed to cover multiple options by the opponent. Usually, you're trying to cover their defensive tools or their defensive options with this type of technique. Now, I'm going to show you first off, for, as a visual aid, for anybody that's new to this, one of the most powerful option selects in the game. Take a look, everybody. So this one is one of the most basic option selects you can do in multi bud and it's very powerful as you can see so strong this covers so many things in the game and the way this one works is very simple take a look at my inputs after the throw you press 2a 2b plus d so you look at the inputs look at the three on the left side of the screen i'm pressing the attack and the shield at the exact same time and the reasoning behind that is that if my 2a whiffs my shield is going to come out as you saw and this, this, this is so powerful. It covers many things. You don't even have to think about it sometimes. You can just rush down towards the opponent. Maybe they're scared right now. They might go for it, right? Bing, free combo every time. Very strong option select, trust me. Now, this doesn't just cover their wake up heat. It can also cover some other things, but the timing is strict. So give me a couple of tries if I don't get it the first time, everybody. But as an example, we can defeat the EX uppercut too. Almost. That was almost it. The timing strict, but it's doable. That was that was late. One more try, try. Oops, they ran out of health. It is it is way harder with this move. I wonder about that. Let's try the B uppercut. I'll see what that looks like. Wow, that looks way more realistic. Okay. Really strong as you can see. So it, you don't have to just do this with your B attack. You can do this with any button that you want. So I can use C if I want. Look at the inputs. Same deal. And this is what will happen if they don't reversal. So let's say they just hang out. Maybe they get hit by it because they messed up trying to do their reversal. Or they press a down jab or something. This is what will happen. Instead, what will happen is you'll get your strength. So. One, two. Combo. Keep on going like nothing happened. No problem. You got hit by it also. You got hit by it again. Great. I win. Anyway, that's the style. So let me let me switch over the health bars now so you can get a better idea of some of the other things with this technique. And then I'll talk to you about some other possible option selects that you can try to utilize as well. All right, everybody. So this next option select is not as powerful as the previous one I showed you, but it's a very good anti-shield option select. Sometimes what will happen is whenever you try to approach the opponent and you leave a gap in your string, they always do something like this every time. And it can be very frustrating to fight. You're forced to always kind of have a shield out there just to counteract it and be ready for it, things like that, right? Well, with this technique, which is called airtight confirm, that's what I'm calling it right now, airtight confirm. With this technique, you can make it so that they cannot shield. And in fact, if they mash a shield, you're, they're leaving themselves open for a very easy throw for you. So the idea is whenever you hit them with your first attack, make sure whatever block string you use is airtight. So here's an example. I already messed up there. Let's try one more time. Now, if they parry there, because they're anticipating your other string, then, of course, you can get them there. But you have to make sure it's airtight. If you leave even a gap, you know what they're going to do. So don't leave a gap. That's important. Then if they shield... They're leaving themselves vulnerable, just like that. Really useful technique. Trust me. Try it out. 
this is one of the simpler options to select. It's not as powerful as the one I talked about before. Now, I'm going to show you some of what happens with both these options select. I guess the, the previous one is the one that matters the most. I'm going to show you what happens when they get hit by it one more time, just so you guys can get an idea. But typically, if they get clipped by this, either you can go for a block string like this, try to mix them up, or you can just, you know, take the hit if they actually get hit by it. So this is what happens if they get clipped. It's going to be as if you just did a regular old string. Sorry, there's lots of things on this train anymore. I'm still getting used to it. So this is what it looks like when you do the option select and they get hit. Pretty simple. Anyway, try it out, chat, test it out with everything. Now, as far as how to get away from the OS, I will tell you a technique that you can try out. I'm still learning how to utilize this myself to defend against this particular option select, but it does work really well, which is that if someone is always doing this and they're running into the floor on you, one thing you can do is you can reversal a backdash. See, that's an option here. And what will happen is when you reverse or backdash, the OS will come out. I didn't put it wrong. See, and when that happens, that opportunity there, even though you can't punish effectively, that opportunity there is a chance to escape their pressure. Even in the corner, this kind of works. I'm sorry, I finished them off. So even here, it kind of works becomes a guess game in the corner. It's pretty scary. Then both of you have to mash a throw and figure out who's going to throw who first. So that's one good way to get out. Let me know, chat, if you guys have any other good ways to break up the 2A, 2B, plus D option select, the most popular one. I'm curious what you guys have in the chat. Let me know. Anyway, guys, I hope that this video helped clear up a little bit about how option selects work. The one that's the most popular, like I said right now, is that 2A into 2B plus D or 2C plus D, that style of OS. That's the most popular that you're going to see right now, so watch out for it. Use it yourselves. I'm telling you, it's really strong. It beats lots of reversals. It beats wake up heat. Uh, sometimes it beats their moon drive activations. I say they go for a moon drive and they go straight into a moon skill. It can defeat that sometimes. It beats lots of different things. Give it a try, everybody. I'm going to be making another video for you guys about Saber shortly as well. Look out for it.